This is problem number 11 from section 2.4. Find the measure of an angle whose complement is five times its measure. Now the thing to remember here is that complements add up to 90. And these always have the same setup. We're looking for the measurement of an angle. So our regular angle, we're gonna call X. I don't know what its measure is, but I'm just gonna call it X. I do know that the angle measurement has to be less than 90 because I'm supposed to be able to add something to it and get to 90. Complements are not add to 90 degrees. Okay, so the complement, and this is always set up the same way. If your angle's measure is X, your complement's measure is 90 minus X. So imagine for a second that your angle is a 40 degree angle. The way to find the part, other part would be 90 minus 40, which would give you 50. 40 and 50 degree angles are complements because they add up to 90. So whatever number I give you, you would subtract it from 90 to find the one that goes with it. You find its pair. Okay, let's look here and come up with a plan. The complement is five times its measure, which is the angle, right? And the measure of the angle is X. Okay, the complement, well that's 90 minus X, equals five times X, which is five X. Now to solve this, I need to move the X over to here. So I'm going to add X to both sides and I get 90 is equal to six X. Divide those both by a six and 90 divided by six is 15 equals X. I found X, which is the angle. All I'm asked to find is the angle. I'm not also asked to find the complement. So the answer here that they're looking for is 15 degrees. If they also asked you for the complement, you would just do 90 minus 15 to get your answer.